click over to budgetvapors.com to get some of my most favorite flavors in the entire industry for 15% off using my promo code GABESENTYA. When you use my promo code over on Budget Vapors, you can get 120 milliliters of premium e-liquid for just $8.49. Also available on BudgetVapors.com is my juice line. The Light Designs liquid line is available in 60 and 120 milliliter bottles. Both my juice line and the many, many delicious Budget Vapors flavors are developed in a high quality lab down in Florida. When you pick up my juice line or use my promo code, it really helps keep the Light Designs program going so thank you all so much for helping support the channel I really appreciate it alright guys so uh, today is kind of a bittersweet day this is probably one of my last rides on my Hog 250 now my Hog 250 is a bike that I absolutely adore more than I can even put into words this is a bike that I love so so deeply. I've ridden this hawk from one side of the Hampshire to the other. I have explored more trails than I ever have on this bike. I ride it almost every day. I absolutely love this bike. This is my favorite motorcycle that I have ever owned. So you may ask and say, well, if it's the best bike you've ever owned, then why are you selling it? I mean, on paper, the hawk facilitates all the needs that I need from a motorcycle. It runs great, it's reliable, it's completely unstoppable. It's a 250, which is my preferred engine size. It's four stroke, it's got passenger foot pegs. Um, it's cheap and easy to fix if anything ever goes wrong with it. It's super fun to ride, blah, blah, blah. The list goes on. My reasoning for getting rid of the Hawk is twofold. Uh, number one main re reason is this bike has bad paperwork. Now being a resident of the state that I am in, I cannot legally register this motorcycle to myself, so I have to have a inspired plate. If anybody asks, this Hawk 250 is conveniently also a Ninja 250 from 1993. So the paperwork's bad, and there's nothing I can really do about that. Uh, so like if I was a resident of another state, I could register this bike to myself or I could have a friend from another state register this motorcycle to themselves and then buy it from them and then register it myself. But that's like a major headache. Uh, my second reasoning for wanting to get something different is there is a Chinese bike that I've had my eye on for about two years now. I saw these when they were in development on the internet. They weren't shipping them to America just yet. Now they're shipping them to America and uh, I'm gonna try and get one. So I'm gonna try and sell the hog for the amount of that bike and then just have it delivered to the house. One of the things I don't like about the hog is it's really bad at jumps. And the suspension is very mushy, which is great for like long haul travel but for, you know, doing really aggressive trails or doing any jumps or taking it to a skate park, it's terrible at that. And I'm someone who likes to bring their dirt bike to a skate park and jump over skate park ramps with a dirt bike. This is just not a bike that, that you can do that way. Every time that this bike has left the ground, it has hated it. So I've tried to jump this thing a couple times and it really, really hates it. It will handle pretty much anything you can throw at it trail-wise, but it doesn't like to do, you know, one of my favorite forms of riding, which is doing jumps and doing like urban assault type stuff. And I really want to get more into urban assault type stuff, which is bringing your dirt bike uh, to places you normally wouldn't bring a dirt bike and jumping over things. You know, maybe when I get older and I'm unable to do jumps and unable to do super aggressive riding, I think the Hawk is a fantastic contender for a perfect all-around motorcycle. Uh, it never leaves you stranded. It never gives you any trouble. I just, this ride we're doing right now is the first ride with the new aftermarket air filter, and it feels fantastic. Like, it's, it's so good. It, it, I have so much pep, and it's still nice and quiet. I have the stock exhaust, but an aftermarket air filter, which um, really livened up this bike a lot without 
making it really loud. I don't like loud motorcycles. I like to stay really quiet. I like to stay underrated. Uh, not underrated, under under the radar. Some things I really enjoy about the Hawk is um, there is foot peg and squishy things. There's like little rubber inserts on the foot pegs, which is very, very nice. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, the Hawk does, doesn't have a counterbalance engine, meaning it can be a little bit vibrating at times. And if you are riding for long amounts of time without squishy foot pegs, you get really tired. Uh, I don't understand the science behind it, but your legs and body get very, very tired. And so having these little squishy foot pegs is super helpful because you're able to ride this bike a lot longer than what you would be able to. Um, the seat is really comfortable. The passenger seat is really comfortable from what my fiance tells me. Um, all the levers are great. Mirrors are decent. I only run one mirror because um, I, I don't know. It's just like how I like to ride. I don't like both. Um, Turns and goes, brake lights, headlights, everything works great. Uh, ignition works great. You got an ignition lock thing. Transmission is fantastic. Um, it's a five speed, which feels like enough gears. Um, I just reviewed my fiance's uh, motorcycle a couple days ago. I don't know if that video's out yet or not. And hers is a, a four speed, and if you really feel the need for a fifth gear, this is okay uh, with the current gearing. Oh, look. Look, chickens. The actual gear of the sprockets is nice. You're able to keep up with kind of highway speeds. I'm not happy about doing highway speeds, but you can. Uh, but it's very peppy and porky, which I like a lot. Um, it feels really nice. Everybody keep your eye out for some trails. Ooh, it's clearing. That's a good spot for a moose. That's like one of the great things about this Hawk is my favorite thing about the Hawk is you can just hop on it and get lost and find cool stuff like that log cabin. Like dude, like I, I, I love this bike and if you were ever debating on getting a Hawk, I really think you should. Um, unless you super want to do jumps, then it's probably not a good bike for you because it doesn't jump well. Um, but other than like jumps and stuff, it's fine. What's going on up here? I don't know where to go. Can we check this out? Whatever's going on up here. Like I have no idea where I am right now. And it's, it's awesome. Like I'm just out here exploring and I'm not afraid of running out of gas or not afraid of getting lost because it's just I, it uses almost no gas. It's a 250 and it's a four stroke. So you just put in 10 bucks of gas every, I don't know, month. Dude, I ride this bike almost every day and it's, it's you know, I never use any gas. It's fantastic. 